Welcome back to El Tab Horror. Today we're playing the elevator game with Cat Girl. Like and subscribe and stuff or whatever, and let's go. Oh gosh. Okay. This is so exciting for some reason. I like this a lot. Woo. All right, let's go back in. Just to be on the safe side, I make my way towards the playground. Why? Why? Why is that the safe side? That's not safe. Should be enough distance between myself and the building to reset. Oh. Yeah, probably. My phone's display is now showing 1217. Probably good to wait for another minute for good measure. Hmm? Oh, hello! Sir? I'm about to make my way back to the building entrance with the intention of pressing one of the intercom buttons when I suddenly notice someone walking down the street. Oh, you're super cute. You've got that sly, like, fox face. Not to draw attention to myself, I hunch down my shoulders and remain frozen in place, listening to the footsteps that keep getting louder and louder. Hello? Or not? It's fine. This person makes his way past me, and for a moment I feel relief before I realize he's heading towards the same building entrance I was about to head back to. Perhaps he lives there? presses the intercom buttons a couple of times, although I can't quite see which. He clearly knows what he's doing, however, as the sound of the door opening reaches my ears shortly after. Wanting to use the opportunity, I quickly dash forward with the intention of catching the door before it closes after the stranger. Huh? Thank you. Oh, he's holding the door open. Oh, do you live here? Yeah. <laughs> Crap. You just had to go ahead and make small uh, Oh, uh, uh, no, I just, um, I came to visit a friend. Good one, Asahi. Good A one. friend? Is that so? Why do you look so creepy? You must be a very important friend when you come to visit them so late at night. Yeah, the most important. <laughs> Please just go. Please just go. Have we Same. met before? No, uh, absolutely definitely not. not. I need to go now. Ah, yes. Sorry. Don't mind me. Just be sure to take the stairs. The elevator's been malfunctioning a lot lately. Oh, has it? Oh, 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 you don't say. I wait for the stranger to go into the building and watch him intently as he makes his way towards one of the hallways. All things considered, he seems like a decent guy. But for all I know, he might be some kind of creep. And besides, I can't enter the building with other people if I want to follow the rules. Alright. Let's wait again. Alright. One more time. I climb the stairs, making sure that I enter the elevator from the first floor this time around. Good for you. Good job. Good job. I'm on the first floor! Woo! Alright. Let's give this another try. From floor one. Hopefully the right one. Floor four is next. Hint, for speed, you can choose to skip through the elevator animations, for example, by holding the control key down. We recommend not skipping for proper immersion, but it's your choice how you prefer to play. Whichever playstyle you choose, you're still required to press the panel buttons in order to advance yourself, of course. Okie doke. Floor 4. Right? Yeah, 4. I'm gonna- I- I want the immersion. I wanna watch the elevator sequence. Can I move where I look? Because if, if a lady gets on, I need to look away. I have to be prepared for that. Alright. Why is that static? Oh, it's already weird. Then floor two. Yep. Cool, 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 cool. So four, two, and then up to six. Matt two. Why- okay, is it just the style? Is it just the art style? Or does this look like a television screen? Like the stat- the staticky television screen, you know what I'm talking about? And floor six. Alright. Going up to six, going up to six. And then the lady can be here, I think? No, the lady's on- on the fifth floor, I believe. Ooh, open doors. 
But that's totally normal. That happens in a place with doors. People open doors. Two. Four, two, six, two, ten. This is so exciting. I don't know why, but this excites me so much. All right, still. The moment I reached the second floor for the second time, I immediately noticed a change in the atmosphere. Oh, do you? I did not. Feeling that something is very, very wrong hits me like a truck, making the hair on the back of my neck stand. What is this? I can't shake off the overwhelming sensation that I should get out of the elevator right now. I can't quite explain it. But if I wasn't completely freaking out before, now it's very hard not to do so. It's almost like standing on rail tracks while a train comes right at you at full speed. You know you have to move if you don't want to get run over. You know you have to move if you don't want to be turned into a wet, fleshy smear along the tracks. If I don't move, I'm going to die. It's the lack of air that snaps me out of my stupor. I realize that I've been holding my breath ever since the elevator stopped. I breathe in, only to be greeted by a foul smell. It's almost like rotting fish mixed in with something I can't even name. I'm certain I didn't smell anything like this when I was here before. <sighs> Floor 10 should be next. Yep. Alright, still good. Going up to 10. Going up to 10. We're super good. We're good. 7, 8, 9, 10. Alright, so we made it to 10. Next is 5, and 5 is where the lady can get on. Alright. When the door finally opens on the 10th floor, it's like a breath of fresh air after what feels like minutes of being stuck in a closed can. I notice that the foul smell is suddenly gone. This is floor five. Hmm. This still really just looks like TV static. Unless it's just the style of the outside world. I, I think that's a, a on purpose. Okay, let's go to five. And this is where the lady can get on. And I am not paying attention to her. And I bet you it's Kieran. I um uh, uh-uh. Nope. I'm supposed to be going to five. I press the button five, I press the five button, and now I'm on 13. That's not how this works. There's also no 13. I'm pretty sure I pressed the button for the fifth floor. That's what the rules instruct the player to do, after all. So, why? This is not where the elevator was supposed to go. To mention, this is still a ten-story high building, isn't it? Getting to the 13th floor is obviously impossible. It shouldn't even exist. <sighs> I need to stay calm. Even if I'm unnerved by the fact that the elevator does it, door doesn't open up when it supposedly arrives on the floor in question, the thing can levitate out of the building somehow? That's crazy. It's obviously some kind of mistake. Perhaps the elevator panel is malfunctioning? Oh gosh. Maybe I'm on the fifth floor right now, just like intended. There are no instructions for such a scenario taking place in the rules. So I guess I'm left to my own devices and better judgment. Does this mean the ritual failed since this happened? Does this mean something else entirely? If I had to think of any plausible options on what to do next. Press F5 again. Press F5 again. Because it said 5! Hang on, let me... Okay. Uh... Okay, so stay on 10, then press F5. Someone may enter, do not look at her, press F Okay, let's go to my back. Uh, some... But it doesn't say anything! It doesn't say anything about this! Well, hang on. The elevator you use to get there is the only one you can return with. Remember, once in the same elevator, repeat steps 2 to 8 to get on F5 again. Maybe I'm already in the other world. Hmm. Some have described the other world as dark, but otherwise exactly like your home world. They need maybe a red cross in the sky? I didn't look for that. 
Electronics often do not work on the other side. I think I'm already in the other world. Maybe. I don't know. You may become disoriented or dizzy as you exit on the 10th floor. Pay attention to how you're feeling and keep your wits about you. If you pass out and wake up at home, it might not be your home world, or even not the other world you were intending to travel to. Examine everything to make sure nothing is out of the ordinary. You enter the wrong elevator on your way back. The button sequence will not work. Oh! I just got goosebumps for some reason. Ugh. I'm gonna do F5 again. I'm gonna do F5 again. I want to open the door to see. But according to the rules and the ritual, I think you should press F5 again. I do really want to replay. Oh, I should have saved. Can I go back? I forgot saving is a thing. Okay. I'm gonna save. I'm, I'm gonna play this again because I really want to see what, what there are different options. Ooh. I press the button for floor five again. But it just seems to work. Hey! Okay, let's, let's save just real quick. I'm gonna do it again. Does it seem to work? Let's open the door. I press the button for opening up the door. Red! Red cross! I am in the other world! I seem to be greeted by the f by a floor at least, so the elevator hasn't levitated out of the building after all. Probably. What are the odds that I've managed to get to the other world already? And now the building somehow has more floors? Seems like a crazy idea, but everything about this has been crazy enough to begin with. Who knows what to actually expect? I know I shouldn't leave the elevator at any cost, but- NO! I noticed something standing out in the corner before me, pretty close to the door. If I try hard enough, I'm pretty sure I can reach it without stepping out. Does that count? If I don't leave it- I get on my knees, careful not to leave the compartment. Then I reach out for the piece of paper that's lying on the ground. Oh, all right. April 13th, which is 413. 413. And I'm on the 13th floor. I don't know. Now we're letting those abominations into our school? Fucking great, just what we needed. Hmm, one of them looks sort of cute. I wonder what she'd sound like when we set her... Clothes on fire. Yep. Great. That's awesome. I, mm, mm. Date on this thing. There's no year, but if it's from the current one, it would be from a couple months ago. Isn't that from the day I transferred? Oh, now let's go to four. Five. I get snapped away from my thoughts with the elevator door suddenly closing. Before I can even think about what to possibly do next, the small compartment is put into motion without my input. Where are we going? We're going down. Going to five. Ten. Nine. Because I did get out. I, I didn't. Eight. No. I can't shake off the weird feeling that something was waiting for me to pick up that note before letting me proceed further. Did some greater force guide me? Is I being watched? The idea is absurd, and yet... Five. This is the lady one. <sighs> this is the one where a lady can... Yeah, I don't know why that's weird. The window thing is weird. I don't like it. The elevator seems to have descended back to the fifth floor, just like I prompted for it to do last time, before I got taken to a floor that wasn't even supposed to exist. Does this mean that the ritual is still going according to the rules? don't know. Rules mention that there might be some kind of woman getting into the elevator at this point in the I can't see anybody. There's just something distinct that stands out next to the elevator door again. I could probably reach it without having to step outside just like last time. Uh, can I? I can't. I can't do it. I have to take it. I keep finding these notes. They seem like some diary entries at first, 
but none of it makes sense at this point. Could it be that this place somehow captures your thoughts and turns them into these things? Will somebody be finding mine? Seems like it's another one of these notes, but this one's different than the one I found earlier. The writing has a different shape, and the paper itself has a different tint to it. Is it safe to assume this isn't the same person's? I bet you one of these is gonna be mine. Wait, where do I go now? Ten, right? Where are we going? What are we doing? Stop it! I'm supposed- wait. I don't remember! It was, it was, it was, it was, not taking any chances, I take the silent invitation to leave without a second thought. Why? I didn't say that. No! I run out of the building as fast as my legs allow me to. That wasn't what I was supposed to do! I wasn't done! Hmm. Look up in the sky! Is there a red cross? What the heck was that? The rules say I should leave the building immediately if the elevator descends back to the first floor instead of the tenth. So I did just that. Am I safe now? Oh, did it? Oh, I totally forgot those rules. Does this mean the game is reset and I can attempt it anew once I go back to the elevator right now? These rules have to be so vague. Ugh. I check my phone for good measure, curious about the time. It seems like a couple of minutes have passed since I got into the elevator. Nothing out of the ordinary then. Even if it feels like I was trapped in there for hours instead. Hmm. Deciding to take a short break, I get something hot from the vending machine. Coffee should be good for keeping me on my toes, even if adrenaline is currently doing the job pretty well. I made sure to bring more change with me this time around. I was about to get confused. I was like, but I already bought coffee, and she said that she was out. <gasps> Chocolate milk! Yes! Chalky milk is not what I ordered, but chalky milk is far superior to coffee, so. I reach to take out my canned coffee, only to notice there's a bottle of chocolate milk instead. Did the machine malfunction? Or did someone buy it before me and then just leave it here? It must be a malfunction. I did put money in, and I did hear it doing vending machine things. In further inspection, the factory seal is still intact, so it's definitely not someone else's half-finished drink. I'm still not about to drink it, but I suppose I could take it with me. Damn it, though. This just means I used up my change and got no coffee in return. <sighs> Stupid machine. Ow. <laughs> Ouchie. Ow! On my hand! Frustrated, I head back out of the building entrance, hitting one of the intercom buttons. I try to make sense of what I experienced in the elevator, but I'm at a loss. All in all, the sooner I find Kieran, the sooner we'll be able to leave this place and never come back. I'm really not in the mood to dwell on this. Oh. Somebody said something. That's new. I'm shaken out of my thoughts when I suddenly hear a voice from the intercom. Crap, this isn't how it went last time. This wasn't supposed to happen all Hello? of a sudden. Who's there? Is that Mr. Sly Fox guy? G Girl Scout cookies. I forgot my keys. I forgot my keys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I forgot mine. That's not how you respond At to that. At least get more creative. Beat it, kid. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, that, that that's understandable. Great going. Okay. I was just about to... I just about want to curl up and die from embarrassment, but I forced myself to press one of the intercom buttons again. A different one this time, though. Can't let this stop me. I will humiliate myself as many times as it takes. I need to get back into the building. To my surprise, I'm creative with the sound of entry this time around. Someone simply lets me in, no questions asked. Just like before. Victory! I exhale quickly, getting into the building. Do people actually live here? Because I've gone up on the floors and their doors are just open. So weirded out by that, it still feels so jarring how eerily quiet the inside of this building is compared to the outside. It's not like the door of the building is a portal to another world of its own already. <laughs> Gathering my thoughts, I remember the notes I found. 
This has to mean something. I'm determined to get to the bottom of this. I should attempt that ritual again. Maybe I did something wrong before. Clues found throughout the game can lead to new floor combinations and different endings. Reaching an ending doesn't reset your exploration progress. All found items carry over to consecutive playthroughs. Some things around the lobby may change if you explore the game. Stay vigilant and have fun exploring the bizarre setting. <gasps> cool. Yeah. Oh, amazing. Oh, I can zoom. Important phone numbers. None. I see none. I can't see an old phone. Do I use it? Perhaps this one would work since it should operate through a landline. Mine sure as hell doesn't have any reception down here. But it requires a coin. A type I don't have in the small hand pocket. Seems like a list of important phone numbers, but it's totally illegible. Oh! Ooh. What is this? Ketchup on eggs? Redefining flavor. The fuck? Says famous chef Rorted Gamsey! <laughs> Onion and bacon go well together. It does. Never put Froggy in a situation. I don't really get that picture, but that's fun. I, okay. Sapporo, Kirin, Rocky, and Asahi. Cool, that's great. Those are our names. I don't know who Rocky is. Maybe Rocky's that dude uh, that, let, that let me in. Maybe? The Sapporo's... The, the one who bet us. Kieran is our friend, is our girlfriend that we've lost. And then Asahi is us. Hey, don't be a hater. Ketchup is good with anything. I totally disagree. Ketchup is gross. The newspapers around here are something else. Who even reads these nowadays anymore? Is that a frog and a sausage? What? What happened to the Sudoku puzzle? Did mice bite through the numbers or something? The holes look almost like cute bats. The freaking bats. Oh really, it's cute bats. <laughs> freaking bats. Staring at this makes me hungry. I should move on. Let's look at these. It's a row of blockers, obviously belonging to the residents of this building. How can this place possibly so be so badly maintained that not even one of them has a readable label? That one has blood, though, so that's suspicious. And that one has a triangle. This is if they are rusted over. They could use some management. Or a replacement. Slogger's dirt. Yep, just dirty. I don't want to know. I don't even want to think about what I don't want to know. Oh! Is that a hook attached to a line? What kind of contraption is that supposed to be? Ghost fishing? It looks dangerous. Thankfully, it's fairly high up, so I shouldn't walk into that by mistake. Just a vent I can't reach. Okay. Triangle? This locker stands out from the others. It has a triangle mark on it. Let it. Let it. Oh. What does the triangle mean? What's this? Oh, hi! The cat. Cat and little bird. Tarot reading. <gasps> Called 204863. 204863! Are you seeking answers? Dig deeper into yourself. Tarot reading. Call 204863. It's actually been a while since I had my fortune read. My aunt makes a living from tarot readings, so I'm no stranger to these. I find them pretty fun. I can never resist the temptation of getting a glimpse into future. As vague as it might be sometimes. That being said, maybe it's a number I should keep in mind. Yes, keep it in mind. Write it down. Notes? N no. Um, bag? Phone? Can I write? Can I write it down somehow? How can I? No. Okay. Uh. I have a, uh, sticky note. App, hang on. 20-48-63. Okay. Okay. Keep notes. Alright. Uh oh. Let's look at the little kitty and bird. The little bow tie. He's so fancy. <gasps> it's the attack of the penguins. Oh, it's some kind of graffiti. Looks cute. Cool. It's a Rubik's Cube? 
but instead of colors, it has numbers on it. Are these supposed to be Sudoku? What kind of mad person would want to get these, let alone solve them? Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. Are they all solved? Are you guys like one, two, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, nine. One, two, three, four, five. I think they're all solved. One, two, three, four. Mm. What do I do with this? I know they're numbers. It has to be something. No. Um. Mm -hmm. One, three, six. I don't know which one to take. Because one of these has to be important, right? And I'm not going to copy down every single one of these numbers. What do I, what do, I do with that? Hmm. Um. Oh, diagonal? Does that work? No, that doesn't work. Hmm. Well, for sure, I have to try this. Oh, sacrifice! <gasps> cool, love that! That's great. Oh, no, 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 no. I shouldn't have picked that up. Why am I suddenly overwhelmed by the feeling that I shouldn't have picked that up? Is this some kind of bad omen? Surely nothing bad is going to happen. Just because I saw that. Achievement unlocked? Your turn? Ah! Crap. <laughs> okay, let's get out of here. Let's look at this. There's some boxes stuffed under the counter. They seem to be full of some more of those weird cubes. I know this is gonna, I... Nothing of interest in those. Oh, let me screenshot it. Oh. All right, let's go out. Let's go this way. Yarn, graffiti, scissors. Hair scissors, not really something I like to carry. Why not? That's a great idea. I made the mistake of running around with scissors once and I still have the scar to prove it. It's not big, not clever, and I'm not doing it right now. Hmm, whatever this is, it gives off a weird kind of energy. Like it could stare right into my soul. Bet you it does. Hmm, is that yarn? Oh no, it's totally yarn. Press Asahi, you can ignore it. Just don't look at it for too long. <laughs> for since I became a cat girl, oh my god, I get the uncontrollable urge to play around with a yarn ball every time I see one. That is so silly. It's like the yarn itself taunts my very existence. Mm, not this time, you cheeky little devil. That's adorable. Alright, let's see what the radio is. Can I, like, adjust it? Here anymore. Woo! Force equals four. Okay, I'm typing that out. What does that even mean? Horse equals four. So that horse top hat is four. Don't know what that means. Is this somebody's diary? Oh, now we're getting to the good part. As if. It's a notebook, and the pages that weren't ripped out from it seem to be blank. All right. Horse equals four? Does this have anything to do with the wooden plate thing near the entrance? Obviously. Oh! Spooky cat eyeball. Okay. Somebody left their mug here. It's full of some dark liquid. I can smell a hint of coffee. It's obviously cold, and I don't want to know for how long it's been here in the first place. It's an ashtray, but it's empty and clean. Clearly, it hasn't been used recently. Those is thank you. Ooh, hearts! card with two hearts. Or, yeah. Anything else before I touch the ghost cat? Oh my gosh, that's, that's the cutest fortune doll I've ever seen. I wonder if I could order, I wonder if I could order one of those from somewhere on the internet. Definitely something to keep in mind for later on. You know, if you survive this whole thing. Why are your eyes bright though? Okay. I was over here. I checked there. I checked all of this. 
All right, I, I think I've done all of that. Why is that red? That's cool. Uh. Okay, before I go that way, I want to check the entirety of this. Oh! It's a piece of card. Someone tore it in half. It's a nine, right? Nine of diamonds. Okay, I'm gonna type in four of hearts. No, it's a two of hearts. Uh oh. Yeah, two of hearts. And then nine of diamonds. What do you. Uh, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna put Torn in half. That might be important. Do I need to finish the other half? Or... Let's see. I'm not going up the elevator just yet. Let's check the vent. It's a creepy looking vent. Nothing out of the ordinary here. I could probably crawl through it if I could unscrew the cover. Except I can't see the screws, so I don't... Except I can't see the screws. I don't have a screwdriver and... I'm not that stupid. I would be that stupid. Ooh, what's that? Hmm. Looks like a maze. Maybe there's a treasure buried where the red dot is. I click on it, okay. Resident of three of two, can you please take out the trash? The smell is unbearable. I'm gonna try that down. Three of two, smell trash. Okay. Um, the Neckos, things get squatchy. It, di it did say squatchy. <laughs> Near right lake. Penguin Rebellion, a lone village against the feathery outrage. Amazing. Seems like someone isn't too happy about somebody else's living habits. Uh, the... What now? Okay. Alright. Go over here, lost and found. Dead tree. This plant has definitely seen better days. I almost feel sorry for it. Shouldn't the residents take better care of it? Ooh. Okay, check the lost and found. Lost and found, huh? The lost and found reception window. I'm not sure if these are common in buildings like this. It's a bit out of place for one to be here, if you ask me. No. Okay. Oh! Okay, well, let's check this. It's a fire extinguisher. Hopefully, I won't find a reason to use it. Alright, let's check this. It's some kind of board depicting animals. Seems like one of those things where you engrave wood by burning it. Wood burning is what it's called. Is this supposed to tell me something? The only thing it's telling me is that the horse is a gentleman horse. A gentle horse, if you will. And that being said, I have no idea why anybody would want to put something like this here. Perhaps they wanted for the rest of the building's inhabitants to see their artistic endeavors? This board, could it have anything to do with the note I found under the counter? Could each animal represent a number? It does! But how? Okay, so the horse is definitely four. But I don't know, like, where to put that. Over here. Let's check this out. The interwebs! The water shuts down! Millions dead! How many open labs is too many labs? We ask, I... What is it? Zell answers? Continued on page, blip. I actually remember that happening. But wasn't it years ago by now? Just how long has this clipping been here? Interesting. Uh, I don't, I don't want to go upstairs just yet. Let's go this way. X. Some kind of X mark on the wall over there. Is this where the treasure is buried? Do I need to get a hammer to get to the bottom of this? <laughs> yeah, right. Band? No, bread. <laughs> um, it's a vent, but it's too high for me to reach. Not that I have a reason to want to reach it in the first place. Okay. Bread. Oh, and then that. Nine of spades, perhaps? It says bread on the box. What would bread be doing in a place like this? What does this carton even? There's no actual bread in there. Right? I'm not willing to check. I sure would like to, though. I'm curious, but not that curious. Uh, Where did the spade go? I saw a spade. Cool! Oh! Spade and heart.
heart. Fool. But I don't know what that means. Joker? Joker, perhaps? What? What? I don't understand. Yeah, I don't get what that means. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and type it. Heart and spade. Or I'll do spade, then heart. Spade, heart. You will. Alright. Mm. So I see a spare, but it also said that it'll do things differently. Uh, so let me, let me go in here. No, no, no. Let me go over here and go upstairs. Enter the elevator from the first floor? Yes. I'm smart. And then I want to do 413. I'm going to do 413 this time for the April 13th. I'm going to try that. Just going to see. That's new. Don't care though. Four, and then I'm going to go to one. And then I'm gonna go to three. There are so many options! I'm so excited! Ugh. Right, four, now one. That's weird. I don't know what that is. And now three. I don't know why, but I have such goosebumps. Just from... I'm just going on an elevator! I think it's because I don't know what's coming. No! I thought for sure that was gonna show me a secret! What's that do? Doesn't seem like the call button is working. Alright! Well, I already messed it up. So, let's go to the negative one. Let's go to the basement. Cause that's not scary. Two, one... Zero. Negative one. Awesome. What is in here? <laughs> no, that's okay. Yeah, that's fine. I can't... Ooh, my eyes are adjusting. Oh, it's not just totally dark. That's awesome. The... I think. Am I making that up? Because I definitely see things. But I don't think I saw before. Cause yeah, now I see the floor. Ah, oh, that's so cool. I don't think I'm gonna be able to fully s see it though. I'll come back to it. Go back to one. And then leave, I think, so that I can reset it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Oh, wait, wait. So I got zero then? Uh-oh. Have I messed it up? Take it out. Cool. Okay. Oh, let me look at this stuff. Reset the game. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, never mind. I wanted to look at the... Okay, I decided to step out. Okay. Alright, trying it again. I, I didn't actually do anything, so I'm assuming nothing changed. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think so. Oh, what's that? A spade? It's an ace of spades. Okay, 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 okay. Ace of spades. Does finding this mean I'm going to get success and good fortune? Although it could also be a symbol of death. Or it could just be a lost card missing its death. You know. Ace of spades? The spuddies? What's that? 
the clock, but its hands are missing. Okay. It's the entrance of the building. It's currently battling at the front door to my... At my dentist to be my least favorite. And that's fair. Is there anything new? 302 has got to be something. Nothing. Hmm. And then Spade was the fool. What's over here? What's this? What is this? There's a star mark on the door. Can I open it? I don't know where the store leads to, and I won't be finding out anytime soon. Locked? How do I get a key? I already looked at all this. Is there something? No. Alright, I guess let's go over here and see if there's anything new. No. Oops. Go this way and up. Oh, are there any numbers that I missed? See any No, I don't see any numbers. Go upstairs, yeah. So what do I do now? I'm on the first floor, so let's go. Let, let's try the whole thing again. Maybe I just have to try it again. Let's go four, two, six, two. Ten? Five? I think. Alright. Four. Alright, cool, cool, cool. The red. Now go four, two. Then maybe I'll pick up some more hints, or it'll reset again to where I'll be able to find more stuff in the lobby. Or two. Alright, this looks very normal. I do also want to go to floor three so that I can check out what's going on in 302. Six, okay. All right, that's cool, that's normal. Uh, six, two. And then 10. This is so exciting. It's a spooky puzzle. And it's awesome. All right, four, two, six, two, 10. All right, so it looks normal. 10. And then five. Cause this is when it went up to 13? No, 13 was after 5. I think. I don't remember. Okay, yeah, I've been here. Now let's go to 5. Wait. Phone. Uh, 10, 5. Okay, 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 okay. Then 1. Okay. I'm going to five. A lady may get on, and that's fine. I don't care about her at all. Nothing. Mmm. Mmm, I don't like that. And then ten. We're good. Okay. Lady's not on the elevator. So why? Why? Oh wait, no, I was supposed to... Wait, shoot. Oh, I was supposed to go to one! Oh, you silly goose! Back to one. I messed you up. Dang it. Oh well. Let's go down to one. And I gotta get out and reset it! Well, before I reset it, I'm gonna go to, to the third floor. Ugh. This is, this does feel very liminal. It's very like unsettling in my chest. All right, three. So now three o two. Can I click on any of these? I can't. I can't leave. I can't go check out room three o two. All right, go back. Okay. 
Uh, so let's, let's leave. Yeah. Let me do it right this time. Come on. Uh. It's wrong button. Okay, I assume nothing ch ch changed, right? A quick little look, see around. Because if I didn't do it right, it probably. Wait, what? I was that. This is different. Well, there's a reason why we're the worst class or whatever. Okay. Hmm. Our, uh, hidden Mickey. Anything over here? No. Okay, let's go up the stairs. Yes. <gasps> okay, so four, two, six, two, ten, five, one. Okay, so four. Yep. Four, two, uh, six, two, Four, two, six, two, ten. Then five. Then one. Yeah, I did it! Whee! That's... I don't... a different... Um, I thought I was prepared for almost anything. And yet, the moment the elevator door opens up before me on the last stop of the ritual, I'm taken completely off guard. This place is surprisingly bright. Not even sure what I thought I was going to find, but this is beyond anything I imagined. Did my attempt actually work this time around? Did we finally make it to the other world? Is this where Kieran ended up as well? I'll see you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe or whatever. And I'll see you later. Bye-bye.